that. Welcome back. So today I am doing a part two of um, my favorite luxury beauty products, my hero products that I go to when I want like an effortless look that I know is going to perform and not give me any issues, that it's not gonna, like, nothing's gonna mess up. Um, I do have a part one where I do explain, like, what luxury beauty is to me, and I just felt like not only did I not, like, mention everything that I love, but more so, like, I just have more than one favorite in the category, so I felt like I, it was kind of necessary for me to do a part two. And so here's just an extension of all the things that I love in making this look here, which is much different from the first. So um, yeah, uh, let's get into it. Is he bones? Look at him, he's all tucked in like a little human. So I'm gonna prime my face with the Givenchy Prism Libre uh, Skin Caring Corrector in green, and then the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I think this is a shade too. This is almost too light for me. Like I'm on the brink of like going up a shade in all of my complexion products. Um, but I really love the way that these two products look together. Like they just blend together in this very like luminous, beautiful way. And I'm just, I'm so obsessed with this green color corrector. It's so nourishing feeling. It's so lovely. I'm gonna blend these together with my Sephora Pro 47 foundation brush. And you just see how effortless that just sinks into my skin. Givenchy is a luxury beauty brand. So I just think this green colored corrector is really like fitting the bill of what luxury beauty is. Um, this is plastic, but it's a very hearty like product. Like it, it's, there's a lot of product in here and it does have like that little like ornate kind of design on here, but the formula itself it's so nourishing, it gives you a slight glow, um, and your skin just like feels good. It's just an immaculate product and I'm so, so happy. And someday I'm going to be trying the regular concealer. If it's anything like this, then I know I'm gonna love it. Even though Charlotte Tilbury is marketed as a luxury beauty brand, I wouldn't really say that it is, but if there's anything in her line that is luxury beauty, it is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This one's a little less luxurious looking because it is the mini, but I would say that the full size is a glass bottle. It's just a really beautiful like fluted top. It's gold, it's glass, and the product inside, it's the OG like natural glossy glass skin kind of finish that is very very trendy and like popular right now it's like the my skin but better kind of highlighter or primer however you want to use it it's such a versatile beautiful product and if there's anything from charlotte tilbury that is worth the money i would say it's the hollywood flawless filter now going in with the westman atelier oh what is it the vital skin foundation stick i don't know what it is about this the name of this um I just can never remember it, but it's the foundation stick. And I'm currently using this in the shade Atelier 0.5. Now this is kind of light for me currently, and it's kind of on the brink of like uh, being too light for me. Uh, but I do find that it still brightens my under eye. And I, I just think that this formula is so lovely. It's kind of like the NARS, uh, matte concealer but just a little bit more spreadable and emollient and it does provide a pretty impressive amount of coverage like it's just a really really lovely formula and i'm really fighting the urge to not buy a summertime shade because i do have like darker concealers that match me and i think that this is going to be a beautiful product to match me like perfectly in the winter time, but right now it is slightly brightening, but we'll fix it with um, bronzer. But Westman Atelier, even though it's not associated with a fashion house, I do find that not only is the packaging really luxe, like I said in my previous video, but the majority of her products that I've tried, I absolutely love. Like they're really, really beautiful, thought out formulas. The colors are really nuanced. And I just, I'm just really impressed with the line. And I do deem them worth the money. Like they're very, it's a very beautiful makeup line. 
as you can see, it is just slightly too light, <laughs> but yeah, we'll fix that with bronzer. So one of my favorite bronzers ever is the Victoria Beckham Bronzing Brick. I wear this in the shade two and it's, you get a kind of like a cooler ish, lighter shade and then more of like a traditional, oops, sorry, a more of a traditional like bronzy color on the other side. And I love this. It's just like a sheer veil. It's very elegant. Uh, now Victoria Beckham Beauty, um, I don't know if she has her own fashion line. I don't know. I've actually never thought about it before. So I can't really say she's not associated with a fashion house, but she is very much a prominent figure in the luxury just space in general. I can't just say beauty. Um, but she is a prominent figure in the luxury space in general. And so her makeup line is very much thus. Like, it, it's it's very much luxury beauty. It has the packaging, it has the formulas, the colors are very nuanced. Like, everything seems incredibly thought out. And so I consider it, like, just as much of a luxury beauty brand as, like, Gucci, you know? And I just, I just really, really love her makeup line. I don't own everything from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Um, but the products that I do own, I do love equally. Like, they're just such beautiful, beautiful formulas. And the bronzer in particular is kind of what got me back onto powder bronzers in general, where I was like, okay, like, these... I, I haven't fully given up on powder bronzers, because before I was only using creams. But this formula is just absolutely stunning. Like, it's just so easy to work with. There's a shade for everyone. And you can just build and build and build, and it's just such a beautiful formula. I don't know how many times I've said that, but it's it's one of my favorites ever. I'm actually gonna stick a little bit of this on my eyeball here. Just for a little bit of a base. A little bit of definition, kind of bring it down the sides of my nose. It's just like such a beautiful veil of color. Kind of like how uh, Chanel powder products are. Like it's just like a veil of color. One of my favorite products that I tried this year is the Chanel um, Eye and Cheek Palette in the shade Tendress. This is part of their like spring 2023 collection and you get these four beautiful blush shades. Um, and some people, depending on how fair you are, they do use this as a... Uh, bronzer and then this one as a highlighter but for me I use them all as blushes um, because of my skin tone um, and they pull really like neutral warmish on my skin so they're gonna pull different on different skin tones but on me they pull like a very like subtle warm kind of springtime but not like pinky or peachy like too in your face kind of pigment they are truly just like a veil of color just like the victoria beckham beauty bronzer and i think that they go beautifully together so i'm actually going to take this like kind of mauve color and then the brown color and just kind of swish them together and then just tap it ever so slightly onto the cheekbones here just for just like a whisper of blush. Cause I don't wanna like overpower this look with blush. I know it's kind of unheard of with me, but uh, I just want a little bit, just so it blends well with the bronzer. And you see how it's just like a kiss of color. Now I could amp it up a little bit if I added this peach, but I, I'm not really in a peach mood. I just want something a little sun-kissed and neutral, just very thin. And that's kind of like Chanel's shtick, is like very like thin, elegant washes of color that don't overpower, but more so enhance the complexion. Moving on to eyes, I love this cream eyeshadow stick. This is a Bobbi Brown a Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Smoky Topaz. It's this kind of cool toned, um, taupey color that I love, and it blends out just so seamlessly. This is actually the first time that I've used this on camera, 
And not in the fact that I just forgot that I had it, but more so like I've just been gravitating towards warmer or like more like gilded looks lately, like lots of golds, lots of bronzes, but um, I figured this would be a good time to actually use this on camera and show you all just how lovely this is. Now, not all of these, so not all of these um, shadow sticks are made uh, equally, I guess I should say. Um, some of them are kind of patchy, um, and some of them are really, really great. So I know all of the matte shades are really great, but some of the shimmer shades blend out kind of patchy. Like if you saw my spring declutter, you would have seen that I did declutter one of these because it was like the violet plum or something like that. And it was just such a patchy formula and I just did not like it, but I do love this one. And it is like an easy, like one and done, just you can reach for it without, and there's just like no thinking involved. Like that's like blended out. And you can really build this up in a really like more intense way. But as you see, it's just like an easy, like cool toned taupe. And there's a little bit of like a purpley gold shimmer scattered throughout it. And it's just very simple and it's very pretty. Finishing off the eyes, I'm gonna be going in with the Dior Show Mascara. I think this is an amazing mascara. I got this with my Sephora points during the sale. And so I just have this little mini version of it and it's really, really great. Like it's a very volumizing, uh, comfortable formula. Like you can really build this up or you can make it a little more natural if you so please. But for me, I think this really um, goes well with how my eyelashes are. Um, and also, it's a volumizing formula that's an easy wash off. Like, this is not hard to remove at all. The way I want an expensive luxury brand uh, mascara to perform. Like, I don't want it to be finicky. I don't want it to, like, ruin my eye look. And this, even though it's, like, the mini, has been performing so beautifully and I really, really enjoy using it. Like I just give myself like a little like crimp with my eyelash curler and these puppies just stay up and they are voluminous and beautiful. And I really, really enjoy this mascara and I'm considering buying the full size when I run out of this sometime. Now I talked about this in my last video, but I didn't use it on my face. So I will in this one, this is the uh, Westman Atelier lit up stick in the shade Nectar. I think this is such a lovely glass-like, beautiful, healthy skin looking <laughs> uh, highlighter. Like it's just such a lovely product. Um, and it's so easy to use. Like anybody of any skin tone can use this shade. Like it's just, so lovely. <laughs> like I, I wish I could be a little more loquacious about it, but it's just like one of those products where I'm like, don't knock it till you try it. Like it has quite the price tag, but it just is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Like if you have this, like you necessarily don't need any other like cream or cream stick or whatever highlighters like if this is the type of highlighter you like like you like like a glossy kind of stays tacky type of highlighter with no glitter um this is the one for you like i would say the bomb essentiel and the westman atelier lit up stick are the best cream highlighters hands down and for lips i'm just gonna give a light outline of mac oak just for a little bit of something. And then to finish off the lips, I'm gonna go in with the Victoria Beckham lipstick. I have this in the shade Girl. This is this, it's kind of like a neutrally kind of beigey, pinkish natural color. Like this is kind of the color that I, I just kind of go for with every <laughs> lipstick. Not only is it my comfort zone, but it's the most like flattering kind of nude on me, in my opinion. Um, yeah, this is the shade Girl. And I think it's it's a very like comfortable, easy lipstick to wear. 
Um, it doesn't give you like, you know, like butthole lip or anything like that. Like it lasts a pretty long time and the packaging is very like heavy. Um, this one, it kind of like has like a give to it. Like the cap isn't going to pop off, but I would say that somebody who has like a little bit of like dexterity issues might have a little bit of issues with this and also the kind of component kind of wiggles a little bit but I do like it enough to kind of like look past that um but all of Victoria Beckham's like formulas and packaging are like they're, they just seem like they're really thought of. Like, like they took a lot of time thinking about it. And just like the design is just so elevated and classy and just, I just love it. I just love it so much. Okay, so that is it. That is the part two of my favorite luxury beauty products, my hero products that I go to um, that I know will not steer me wrong, that just perform in such an elegant way and what I expect out of luxury beauty. Um, like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out so much. And thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye!